So I would like to show you how to find your way into the depths of languages at Warwick in order to explore the Mahara ePortfolio. So I'm signed into languages at Warwick. So you can see that once I've signed in, um, the software knows who I am. And um, on my home page here, which is a customizable page, and this will look different for everybody because you can customize it to look the way you want it to, you can see I've got a block down here on the right hand side called network servers. Now, you may not have that on your home page, you may not have added it. If you wish to add it, just click customize this page, and what you will see then towards the bottom of the right hand side is add a block and you'll find network servers in this list and you can add it in that way. Obviously it's not on my list because I've added it already. So I'm going to stop customizing the page but that's a quick way of getting straight into Mahara. Customize the page, add network servers and then you'll be able once you switch the uh, editing off again to go directly into Mahara that way. However, there are other ways if you don't want to customize your page, and that is to go to a course that you're on that you know uses the ePortfolio. So for example, the um, Exchange Warwick Clermont course, if I go into that course, and again that course list is going to be is going to depend on the rights that you have. So here I am in the EWC course, as you can see here. And over on the right hand side you can see I have a link to the Mahara ePortfolio. So that's another way of quickly getting into Mahara. Now Mahara and Moodle, which is the technology we use for languages at Warwick, are completely integrated. So once I click on that Mahara ePortfolio, I'm now into a Mahara interface. Um, this is slightly different. The navigation for this area is slightly different from the navigation, for example, in um, languages at Warwick that you may be use, used to. Um, that's because this has a slightly different functionality and works in a different way. It's a much more social tool. Everything that you add to Mahara is by default private only to you. And there are a set of Mahara video tutorials that give you more information about finding your way around Mahara. Um, so let me just familiarize you with the navigation first. Here you can see there's a dashboard. And on that dashboard you can see three main functions of Mahara. The ability to create and collect, that actually corresponds with this tab here, content. And everything that can be created and collected will appear under content here in the window here. So that's another way in to the same space. The second area here, organize, that actually relates to the tab here that's called portfolio. So everything you organize in terms of your content and make into pages or collections and then share will appear under this tab here, portfolio. And finally, share and network, well, share and network corresponds to this tab here, which is groups. So if you've found friends or you've made groups and you've set up some um, information in there and some ways of contacting and talking to people, you will find them in that groups area. This final tab you can see on here is admin and that's because I'm the admin for Mahara. You won't see that on your um, ePortfolio. So those four tabs relate very clearly therefore to this dashboard page and the three main functions here. And once you know that you can quickly start to find your way around um, just to show you how closely these two um, pieces of software are integrated, if I want to move back from Mahara into languages at Warwick, all I have to do is to click log out, that will log me out of Mahara, and then you'll see I've turned back into my home in languages at Warwick. So I hope that will um, help you just to start to familiarize yourself with Mahara ePortfolio and what it looks like for you.
and find your way around. You may find once you click and go into Mahari Portfolio, there are messages already waiting for you and groups that you can join. So please do take that leap of faith and jump through Languages at Warwick and into the Mahara ePortfolio to find out all the exciting things there are for you there.